I've been a social media manager and marketer for over 10 years now, and here are some of the things I wish I knew when I first got started. Hey guys, Ravi Shugo here, your friendly social media marketing consultant. Now this was a video I've been wanting to do for a very long time because it really covers what I've learned as a social media manager in the last 10 years. And today I really wanted to just share with you some of the things I wish I knew when I first got started. Now whether you're a brand new social media marketer starting that very first role for a company or whether you're a seasoned veteran with 10 or more years experience, some of these key things that I'm going to go through in this video are really going to help take your activities as a social media manager and even a marketer to that next level. So let's dive straight into it. So I've been a social media manager now and working in social media marketing for the last 10 years. And I've worked from everything from startups to well-known companies to multinational organizations. And we're talking about followers ranging from getting your first hundred, your first thousand, your first hundred thousand and even working towards half a million and a million subscribers. So when it comes to managing the social media channels and social media marketing, I've worked across a full breadth. So what are some of the key things I wish I knew? So having worked with so many companies, agencies and even clients, the first key thing you want to know as a social media manager when you're working with your clients or when you're working in a company is to build a social media strategy. It's tempting when you first come into a brand new role, like I've done so many times, you just want to get straight into the content, start posting and just get that kind of dopamine rush of actually getting those first likes and shares so you can prove to everyone what you're putting out there actually works. While that's a great strategy and that will come in time, I think initially if you want to impress your clients and your colleagues, building that social media strategy is going to be key for your business because that's going to really tell your clients and your company exactly what you plan for them and exactly how you're going to do it. Now, if you want to know what to include in a social media strategy, I'll link that in the video in the description below as I outline exactly the kind of key things you need. But the first thing is to look at your social media strategy. Now, this is just going to, on a broader level, going to involve what channels you're going to post on, what you're going to post, where you're going to post, and obviously how you're going to post. Is it going to be links, video, images, what kind of content you're going to share? And this is something you can discuss directly with your client or company at a later stage. But at least this kind of puts you in a strong position when you're first starting or when you're starting with a new company or a new client because they're going to really understand your thought process. And again, more importantly, you can learn from the company or client on based on exactly what they're looking for so they may turn around and say we love your ideas but we prefer more video prefer more this prefer more that and it also allows you a chance to showcase your ideas at the very beginning rather than posting something straight away on your social channels and realizing then um, the client or colleague doesn't actually like it in the first place so number one is focus on building a social media strategy when you first start out. Number two is understand the numbers. So when you first join uh, with a new client or a new company, the first thing, like I said, you're tempted to do is get those passwords, log in and kind of start playing around with posts and looking at what can be done. But first, before you actually do that, once you've got those login details, the first thing you really want to understand is the numbers. So what numbers are we actually talking about here? When we talk about numbers, we're talking about the key social media metrics that are going to be important for your client or company to actually help them achieve their goals. Now, the most obvious is obviously when you first look at your social media channels, you're going to look at the fans and the followers just to see what stage of growth they're at. Are they just starting out? Are they growing? Is it something that they've kind of been on that number for a long time? These are all things you can check in the insights of your social media channels. And then secondly, you want to look at what kind of content is working when you're looking at your metrics and reporting. So um, are videos doing really well? Are they live streaming every week? Um, Are they doing more photo updates? Do long text updates work? Again, this is going to help inform your content plan and your content strategy when you're putting stuff together. Because the last thing you want to do is go in there and change a whole process where the company or client might have been posting something that already works. So there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. So look at the metrics, 
look at their fans and followers, look at the growth, what's been happening, and more importantly, look at the content on those channels to see what's working, so you can really understand where the gaps are and what you need to do to help the client or company improve. Thirdly, uh, when looking at uh, working on a social media manager role, you want to be proactive. So one of the key things that is easy to get bogged down in when you start off in a new company or with a new client is to just start doing the work straight away. So you kind of log in, you kind of want to start posting, responding to customers, tweets or messages or DMs, and you get lost in that because it can take up most of your day. But what you actually want to do in the beginning when you're looking at your clients and uh, your content and obviously the strategy, you want to try and be proactive and leave some time to come up with new ideas and strategies. So we talked about first of all having the social media strategy, we talked about looking at the metrics, but now we're talking about being a little bit more proactive and really showcasing your creative and unique skills. Especially when you're starting out in social media marketing, what one thing that's gonna be unique to you and nobody else in the whole organization, or even uh, with previous social media managers compared to you, um, is gonna be your creativity. So what new ideas can you bring to the table for the client? And a good way to start is to do a quick audit of your client or your company's social media channels. Like we said earlier, combine that with the metrics and then understand what's happening with their channels and come up with new and innovative ideas that they could potentially try to help grow. Now, in the beginning, because you haven't actually worked on this client or company social media channels, it's not gonna be as straightforward as um, here are the keys, go ahead and do what you want with the social media channels and the content. It's important for you to understand kind of what the client's needs and wants are. So being proactive with coming up with ideas allows you to start that discussion with them. And then next, one of the key things you wanna do when working on your client's social media channels is obviously understand what their key goals are. So if the client, because some clients, even on past experiences I've had with even large multinational organizations, even though they're huge and they've got thousands and tens of thousands of followers, sometimes all they want is more awareness, meaning more followers and more engagement. Whereas other companies actually want you to drive direct website traffic back to their pages or build more brand awareness for their products. So understand what the key goal is because that's really going to help shape your content and the way you actually put that together. Um, and if you can do it based on the goals, it's going to make your client and your company obviously very, very happy. Next is productivity. So the final thing to think about is productivity when working on your social media. Uh, channels for your client or your company because it can i've worked in roles where customer services for example taking me about three to four hours a day because on larger clients they're getting 10 20 50 100 messages a day all about customer service and you're just finding yourself jumping in there responding replying and engaging now while your company or your client might not be have that volume of customer service, it's important to be you know, proactive and productive when managing your time. So one of the key things I wish I knew when starting in social media marketing or with a new client is to manage your time effectively and how to do that. Now there are a couple of key ways that I like to do that, working across the years, across different clients. Uh, and one is to use a project management software. So for me, the kind of two top tools that I really enjoy are Trello, and Asana, now both of these tools are free, I do have free versions and they do have paid versions which allow you to do a few more geeky or simple things like um, you know, uh, have expiration dates on your tasks, tag colleagues, bring in team members. But for the starting point, you really wanna have somewhere where you can manage what your day-to-day -day tasks are. Now with Trello and Asana, what you can do is you can literally create, create a simple card uh, with an activity on it and place a due date on there. So you can say, for example, uh, create clients video strategy for YouTube. Now that could be a separate card. You can put an end date on that. And then when you're working across that, you can actually go back to that trailer board and see all the things you have to do for that week. Same with Asana, you can actually have the key dates. You can put in all the tasks that you need to do for that particular week. And then you can put a deadline there as well. So you can actually see when those tasks are due. And because it's attached to your email address, you'll get an email notification to say um, your task is actually due in one day. And therefore, it'll help you keep on top of all the actual proactive tasks that come in because 
one key thing I realized very quickly, especially when you're working in bigger companies, as a social media manager is you get a lot of requests. So use a project management tool, it's completely free. This is not gonna be uh, something that the company necessarily is gonna tell you to do. So when I talked about being proactive, one key way you could actually do that is to use a project management tool. Now I'll make sure I link all the tools below so you can go check those out for yourself. And then I guess the most important thing, how do you actually manage all these social media channels? Now, depending on your client and depending on your company, you've probably already got uh, a software in place. Most companies uh, like to use a software that they've been using previously or a social media management tool. But if you haven't, one tool that I found that's worked really well for the clients and for the companies that I work with is Agora Pulse. Now, one reason for this is because it allows me to schedule all my content. You can put cues on your content so you know when stuff's going out at what times. It has built-in reporting. It even has a reporting feature that allows you to get sent your weekly reports automatically. You can brand those up for your clients or for your company. You can get it sent to your manager or someone's email address directly, saving you time on Excel and everything. And I mentioned earlier, I have worked in roles on customer service, which has taken me a couple of hours, even a day. But there's nice customer service uh, inbox all built in. So any DMs you get, any comments you get, all come into one nice inbox, which I really like. So uh, my social media management tool of choice would be Agora Pulse because it has built-in customer service, built-in reporting, and you can schedule across Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even YouTube, managing your comments on there, and even uploading a video, So uh, and also LinkedIn. So it does make life a lot easier when you have all the social channels in one place. So that's gonna be my overview, guys. This video literally could have been an hour long if I wanted to go into detail on each particular topic. But if there is something that you maybe find uh, that stands up for you when you're working on a new client or if you're starting a brand new role as a social media manager and you wanna really dive into a topic which I may not have covered in full detail, feel free to drop me a question below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those. Like I said, I'm super excited to start up this YouTube channel again. It'll mean a lot to me if you take the time to hit that like button and subscribe as I will be doing these videos for you on a regular basis. And that really helps to support the channel and to help support us grow as well. So thanks for your time guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, God bless.